What's up guys, I'm back with another video and today we're taking a look at the Polar Pro Power Vault case. This thing is really, really cool. So on the surface, it's a standard GoPro soft, semi-rigid case. The top is semi-rigid. It's got some foam down here in the bottom, like we've seen on so many cases. But what is kind of nice with their implementation is that they haven't put a whole bunch of cutouts down here and they left kind of big pockets for you to put your stuff. So you can see there's one very large pocket on the side and then there's a GoPro cutout and that's it, as well as this power bank, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. Then up here on the top, there's that big mesh pocket, which so many of these cases have, well, actually all of them. This one is zippered, which is really nice to see. And then they also include a USB charging cable, which you can use to charge the power bank if you don't have another micro USB cable lying around. Then there is the power the charging bank, the power vault. And that is this block here. It is removable from the case if you should ever want to do so. But what you can see is that it charges both GoPro Hero 3 batteries and GoPro Hero 4 batteries. Now, there's a power switch on the top. You triple tap it, that's three times, to turn on the power, or turn on the charger, and then you use the center switch to slide between whether it's charging the Hero 4 batteries or the Hero 3 batteries. You cannot charge both of them at the same time. Then there's also a USB output port, so you can use that if you were wanting to charge a cell phone from this power bank. Very, very cool. And the best part about it is, it fits right into the case and it never, ever has to get taken out. You can leave it charging, put your accessories back in the case, close the case up, throw it in your backpack, and go on your adventure and know that when you get there, you've got those two batteries which are going to be fully charged and ready to go. You can even charge your GoPro off of that USB port if you wanted to have three accessories all ready to go. Disappointingly, you cannot charge the Hero 3 and Hero 4 slots at the same time. And it would have been cool to see them implement a dual bay charging solution that could do the Hero 3 batteries and Hero 4 batteries out of the same bay and maybe make this thing smaller. But then again, it's a battery bank and space is capacity or size and weight is capacity. So they're not really getting around that. Um, that's really all there is to say about it. This was the power bank from Polar Pro. And it's a really, really cool solution. It is heavier. It is a very solid case. It definitely, that battery bank being in there does add some weight, but it does also have a very, very premium feel to the case itself. The zipper is a semi water resistant zipper. Um, it's got a very nice rubber logo on the front, a Polar Pro rubberized logo that's on the front. The power vault is raised, ridged, and sewn on. Then on the back, there's some uh, raised embroidery, or not really embroidery, but raised bump outs there for the Polar Pro logo. The handle on this case is definitely premium feel. It's a nice solid rubber handle that feels really great. And it's, uh, it's definitely a premium feel. This case is not one of those ones you get that feels cheap. It is a very premium feeling case. And it does pack a very cool punch with that built-in battery charger, which will allow you to make sure that all of your batteries are fully charged everywhere you go. Guys, this was the Power Vault from Polar Pro. If you're interested in checking it out, learn more about it down in the video descriptions. If you want to keep up to date with me, you can follow me over on Facebook for the latest updates. Instagram and Twitter are great places to find out what's going on right now. Twitter is a great place to get a hold of me. Find all of those links down in the video description. But guys, most of all, for right now, thank you very, very much for watching.